Abbotsford detached homes fell $160,000 in July on median sales price. What the f is going on here? Let's see what happened. I'm that Agent Kelly, Canadian real estate connoisseur. If you're into that kind of thing, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and today I'm gonna be talking about my local market of Abbotsford, BC. All right, so check this out on the HPI, the Home Price Index. Abbotsford detached homes were pretty much flat, and in fact, they went up ever so slightly. However, if we look at the median sales price, it's gonna tell us that detached homes went down $160,000 in just one month. So why do we have conflicting data here? We have one metric telling us prices went up a thousand bucks and another metric telling us prices went down $160,000. And I think there's two reasons why we have conflicting data. And I think the answer is actually a hybrid of the two reasons why that is. So number one, prices actually went down and the HPI is a lagging indicator and just hasn't picked that up yet. And number two, because fixed rates have pushed up so much in the last two months, there's probably not a lot of, you know, more expensive detached homes in the higher echelon of pricing actually selling and the bulk of homes being sold are in the lower echelon of detached homes. Therefore, the median sales price probably registered a lot lower than it otherwise would have, but it doesn't necessarily mean that homes are down 160K. It just means that the middle home being sold is $160,000 less than last month's middle home being sold. Now, I actually think that prices did go down and that the HPI is a lagging indicator, but I don't think that prices went down $160,000. I think they probably went down maybe 20, 30K, possibly 40K, but probably 20 to 30K, I'm gonna guess. But I'm seeing price reductions every day right now in detached homes, 30, 40, 50K. I've even seen as high as, you know, $100,000 price reductions in the last month here. So to me, I think it's safe to say prices dropped. Not only that, the sales ratios for detached homes plunged from 23 to 14%, which I told you guys was gonna happen in the last Abbotsford market update, by the way, so shout out to me. And we are almost in a buyer's market now for Abbotsford detached homes. Sales plunged, but so did new listings. And as a result of that, inventory actually stayed flat. Now over to townhomes, we went up ever so slightly on both the HPI and median sales price. And if we look at the sales ratio for Abbotsford townhomes, it is still disgustingly hot at 51.5%. So that's basically three times what a normal seller's market is. Sales plunged for townhomes, so did new listings. And as a result of that, inventory actually went down about 20% for Abbotsford townhomes. So townhomes are very hot, and according to this, getting even hotter. And if we look at apartments, which I already know are hot because I sold one last week, two days on market. Look at this perfect V correction going on here. We bottomed out at 390,000 and we went all the way back up in basically a straight line to 460,000 in a literal V formation. Sales ratios down ever so slightly from 64 to 53%. So condos are still disgustingly hot. And that condo that I sold in two days was basically like a 1990s condo that had a bunch of issues with the building. The inside of it showed very nice. And of course my photographer took amazing pictures of it and contrasted them ever so you know, elegantly. But uh, yeah, I mean, that still sold in two days. And if sales ratios were you know, not 50%, uh, that one probably would have taken a good 14 days to sell. Sales uh, down, new listings down, and inventory stayed relatively flat for July when we're talking about Abbotsford condos. So where are we going right now? I think when we get the August stats, we're gonna finally see prices tick down for Abbotsford detached homes. To me, it looks like, you know, we're gonna be in a downtrend going forward for Abbotsford detached homes. Who knows how long it'll last? Maybe we need fixed rates to come back down before we see prices go up. But, you know, typically real estate markets trend one way until they don't anymore, and then they start trending the other way. And I think condos and townhomes will remain hot. So as always, and the same thing I've been saying for basically the last year, it is a great time to upsize from a condo or a townhome into a detached house. If you guys enjoyed this video, please do subscribe to the channel, like the video. I'm that Agent Kelly, and I'm making moves to move you. Peace.